this class we work out some problems on specific energy consumption the problem number 1 is an electric train has an average speed of 42 km per hour on a level track between stops 1500 meters apart it is accelerated at 1.7 km per hour per second and it's braked at 3.3 km per hour per second draw the speed time curve and estimate the specific energy consumption assume tractive resistance as 50 newtons per ton and allow 10 percentage for rotational inertia assume efficiency of motor is equal to 90 percentage so in this problem va is given 42 km per hour that is average speed and distance between two station is given 1500 meters or 1.5 km and acceleration is given 1.7 km per hour per second and braking retardation is given 3.3 km per hour per second tractive resistance is given 50 newton per ton and rotational inertia is equal to 10 percentage if the rotational inertia is 10 percent that means we can find the accelerating weight accelerating weight is equal to dead weight plus 10 percentage of dead weight here dead weight is 50 50 plus 10 percentage of 50 is equal to 55 or w e dead weight accelerating weight divided by double dead weight is equal to 1.1 Next, we have we know that specific energy output is equal to 0.01072 into Vm square divided by d into accelerating weight divided by dead weight plus 0.2778 into train resistance R into d dash divided by d. D dash is equal to d that is the total distance distance between two stops minus distance travelled during braking. The first is we have to find time of run, capital T. That is the capital. This is T total T. That is T one plus T two plus T three. That is equal to D divided by V A into three thousand six hundred. We know that D is equal to one point five. V A is equal to forty two. Therefore, T is equal to one twenty eight point five seven seconds. So T is equal to one twenty eight point five seven seconds. Next, we have to find the K. K is equal to 1 by 2A plus 1 by 2B. A is equal to 1.7. B is equal to 3.3. Therefore, K is equal to 0.446. That is 2. Number 3, we know that Vm is equal to T divided by 2K minus root of T square by 4K square minus 3600 into D divided by K. We know T. T is equal to 128.57. K is equal to 0.446. B is equal to 1.5. Substitute all the values in this formula. We find V M is equal to 51.94 km per hour. Number four, we can find the braking duration T3. That is T3. T3 is equal to V M by B2. V M is 51.94 divided by 3.3. That is equal to 15.47 seconds. T3 is equal to 15.47 seconds. Next, we can find the acceleration duration. That is T1. That is equal to Vm by A. Vm is equal to 51.94 divided by 1.7. That is equal to 30.92 seconds. This is 30.92 seconds. Next is distance travelled during braking. That is equal to half into Vm into T3. That is equal to half into Vm 51.94 into T3 T3 is equal to 15.47 divided by 3600 is equal to 0.109 kilometer. So distance travelled during braking is equal to 0.109 kilometer. We can find D dash. D dash is equal to D minus this value. D is 1.5 minus 0.109 is equal to 1.391 kilometer. So in this equation, we know Vm. We know d, we know accelerating weight, we know dead weight, we know d dash, and we d. We can find the specific energy output. Here in this equation, we substitute all the values. That is, 
specific energy output is equal to 0.1072 into Vm that is 51.04 51.04 the whole square into 1.1 W by W the accelerative weight of dead weight is equal to 1.1 plus 0.2778 into R train this is that is given 50 50 into D dash D dash is 1.391 divided by D D is equal to 1.5 we will get specific energy output is equal to 33.36 watt hour per ton kilometer here we have to find the specific energy consumption here the efficiency is given 90 percentage therefore 33.36 divided by 0.9 that is equal to 37.07 watt hour per ton kilometer that is the specific energy consumption here this is a speed time curve t1 is equal to 30.02 t2 is equal to 83.08 uh, T3 is equal to 15.47 capital T total time T1 plus T2 plus T3 is equal to 128.57 Problem 2 A 400 ton electric train runs up an ascending gradient of 1 percentage with the following speed time curves 1. Uniform acceleration of 1.6 km per hour per second for 25 seconds 2. Constant speed for 50 seconds 3. Coasting for 30 seconds 4. Braking at 2.56 km per hour per second to rest Calculate the specific energy consumption if train resistance is 50 Newton per ton Effect of rotational inertia 10% Overall efficiency of transmission gear and motor 75% in this problem, net weight of the train is given 400 tons. Gradient is 1 percentage. Acceleration is 1.6 km per hour per second. Retardation is 2.56 km per hour per second. Breaking retardation. Resistance of the train is given 50 newtons per ton. Rotational inertia 10 percentage. Therefore, we can find Accelerating weight. Accelerating weight is equal to 400 plus 10 percentage of 400 that is equal to 440. And efficiency of gear and motor is 75 percentage. This is uh, 25 seconds. Accelerating period is 25 seconds. And the free running period is 50. Coasting period is 30. This is a curve. A, B is acceleration. B, C is a free running. C, D is a coasting. And D is a braking. Here the four areas will come that is A, B, F, 1 and B, C, G, F, number 2, C, D, H, G, number 3, then D, E, H, the four, four years. We have to find the total distance travelled during the entire period. So first is we have to find V1. What is V1? V1 is equal to A into T1. A is given 1.6. T1 is given 25, that is equal to 40 km per hour. Number 2, tractive force during coasting, that is equal to 98 into W into G plus W into R. You know all the values. Fine, we get tractive force during uh, coasting is equal to 59,200. That must be equal to 277.8 into B2, coasting retardation into accelerating weight that is equal to 59,200 from which we can calculate B2 or coasting retardation is equal to 59,200 divided by 277.8 into accelerating weight that is 440 that is equal to 0.48 km per hour per second In the next we have V1 is equal to 40 ok 40 km per hour V2 is equal to we can write V1 plus B2 into T3 here V2 is equal to the speed is decreasing therefore it is minus sign V2 is equal to 40 plus minus 0.48 into 30 that is equal to 25.6 km per hour this is 25.6 km per hour V2 now we have to calculate the total distance here the distance travelled during acceleration period that is A B F half big H it is a triangle half big H that is half into 1 by 2 into 40 into this T1 is given 25 divided by 3600 that is equal to 0 0.139 kilometer. Number 2 we have to find this area B C G F that is equal to 
v1 into t2 this t2 is given 50 therefore v1 we know 40 40 into 50 divided by 3600 that is equal to 0.556 kilometer number 3 we have to find c d h g that that area that is equal to v1 plus v2 divided by 2 into t3 that is equal to t3 is 30 is given therefore 40 plus 25.3 this is 40 plus 25.6 divided by 2 into 30 divided by 3600 is equal to 0.273 kilometer. Number 4 we have to find D E H that is the area distance travel during breaking that is D E H that is equal to half 1 by 2 into V2 V2 is 25.6 into 10 T4 already we found 10 seconds 10 divided by 3600 that is equal to 0.036 kilometer. So the total distance D is equal to the, the 1, 2, 3, 4 that is equal to 1.004 kilometer. Here already found D is equal to 1.004 kilometer. Next we have to find D dash. D dash is equal to distance travel during acceleration plus distance travel during free running. Distance travel during acceleration is equal to 0.139. Distance travel during free running is equal to 0.556. Therefore, D dash is equal to 0.695. The formula for specific energy consumption is equal to 0.01072 into Vm square divided by eta into D. Here, eta is given 75 percentage. That is equal to 0.75 into accelerating weight divided by dead weight plus 27.25 into gradient divided by eta into D dash divided by D plus 0.2778 into train resistance divided by eta into d dash by d. So accelerating weight divided by dead weight is equal to 1.1. d dash by d is equal to 0 0.692. We know all the values. Simply substitute the values in this formula. The answer is 63 watt hour per ton kilometer. The specific energy consumption is 63 watt hour per ton kilometer.